This video is sponsored by Mark 7 Car Wash Equipment, providing clean, dry, shiny cars for over 50 years. Visit mark7.net for more information. Hello and welcome to Newsmakers, the video series that takes you beyond the car washing and detailing headlines. Today on our Newsmaker interview, we welcome Brian Campbell, car washing's number one fan and recent recipient of the SCWA Lifetime Achievement Award and his mother, Valerie. Hello, Brian and Valerie, and thank you for joining us here today. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having us. Okay. Now, Valerie, I, kn I know we uh, wrote an article about Brian and featured it in our magazine a few years back. Um, but for those who might not be familiar with Brian's story, who might be watching this video here today, uh, what can you tell us about Brian's background and, and how he first got interested in car washing? Sure. Well, Brian has been was diagnosed with Williams syndrome back in the early 80s. And along with Williams syndrome, some of the characteristics associated are heart problems, mentally um, disabled, sensitive hearing. Um, a, a lot of the children have strong loves or obsessions for different things. And, and in Brian's case, it was uh, about things that spin around. And, um, and we were told early on that he would never be able to read or write. And, um, but what we noticed is that love and that passion for car washing just stood out. So um, eventually we came across his family um, who had a Williams syndrome daughter and um, he owned a car wash. So he sent Brian, uh, after we met him, he, he realized Brian's passion. He sent Brian a stack of professional car washing and detailing magazines. And those quickly became like his prized possessions. He loved those, he carried them around, he slept with them at night. Um, and it was the first time I ever realized that he had um, a strong interest to know what these magazines said. And so I saw it as an opportunity to teach him how to read. So um, it too was, he was very reluctant with this, but I talked him out of one of the magazines and we, I don't know if you remember this, but back in those days, there were magnetic photo albums where you'd peel apart and stick the pictures on. And that's, that was what they, we had to work with at the time. So we picked one magazine and cut out all the pictures. And then Brian went and, and gave me the words uh, that went with those pictures. So he basically wrote his stories to, you know, match the pictures. And those just became a uh, tool at our house and, and it's what we use to teach him how to read. So eventually, um, uh, Steve Kane, who was the, the editor of professional car washing at the time, contacted me and asked, is this true? You know, are you really using these magazines to teach him to read? And, and when he found out it was true, he wrote up a, um, he wrote up a, added a little write up in his um, editorial and he asked people from all over to send Brian pictures of their car washes and and different, especially the signs where I could use those to teach him how to read. And um, the response was extremely overwhelming. I mean, he, from all over the world and very quickly, Brian's best friend became the, the, the delivery man, <laughs> the package man as he called him. And about every day we would get a package that had pictures and things that I could use to teach him. And it was so overwhelming. And so it just touched our hearts so much. But that's basically where it started was with your magazine and I, by teaching him how to read. And then eventually um, the word got out to the different um, ICA and Southwest and all the various organizations that, that we were, that Brian loved car washing. And, and, um, and we got invited, started getting invited to some of the different car wash conventions which was pretty cool. And um, so I'm trying to think that it just kind of, you know, snowballed from there. He, he, one of the common questions we get from people are, do you own a car wash or do you, is there an involvement? And the answer to that is no, we don't own one. We never have owned one and we never probably will own one. Although he would probably love that. Um, but our real connection with the car wash industry is, is strictly just Brian's love and passion for car washing. And um, it just, it's just played such an important role in our lives. Yeah. And even early on, the doctors told us Brian went live to be to the age of 10. 
and he will be 39 this year. And I, Dale and I credit the car wash industry for um, giving him that purpose and that reason, that passion. Uh, I think it, it has played a big part in why he's lived as long as he has so far. And I know um, you and Dale and Brian love going to the uh, to the car wash shows, and and certainly the uh, the SCWA is is one of those shows. So where were you and your family when SCWA notified you that Brian was going to be uh, this year's recipient of of the Lifetime Achievement Award? And what was the family's reaction to that news? Well, we were at home um, when we got the call, and the call came from Chuck and Jane Space. And um, they basically told us that the board had it talked the day they had the meeting the day before, and they wanted they wanted to nominate Brian to receive the award. And we were just totally blown away and um, just honored beyond belief. I mean, my first thought was, there are so many deserving people in this industry that deserve this award. You know that. Um, I mean, why Brian? I mean, we were so honored and so just felt so appreciative and I just can't express that enough. I mean, we, we take it. We're just so grateful, very grateful. Right. And, uh, and not only was uh, former Vice President Dick Cheney in the room that day, but some of those past recipients uh, were in the room that day as well. So Brian, how did it feel when, uh, when Ben Alford uh, and SCWA presented you with this uh, prestigious award here? I was so excited and honored to get the award. I'm sure you were, and it was a, a great video that they uh, that they shared beforehand, and uh, and you looked very happy up there receiving the award. So, I know you love going to car wash uh, car washes and and show events, Brian. What uh, what makes these events so exciting for you? What do you what do you like the most? I. I love seeing the booths and all the new equipment. Yep, yep, yep. All those spinning brushes and the lights and, and everything that uh, that goes into the show. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? It is. Yep. So I'm sure you visited uh, a lot of car washes over the years, Brian. Uh, and these shows, you you've been going to them for so many years now. How would you compare the car washes of today? I understand you have a new Express Exterior near where you live. Um, how how do you compare the car washes of today compared to to what you saw when you first got into the industry? In the old days, they had at gas stations they had rollovers, and now they have tunnels. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Isn't that amazing? So I'm sure, uh, I'm sure, unfortunately, like everybody else, you missed going uh, to the ICA show this year. Um, is there anything that, uh, that you'd like to say to your friends in the industry that, uh, that maybe you missed out a, a chance to say to them this year? Do you have a message for all your friends in the industry? Yes, I want to tell my car wash friends to keep washing the cars. Well, that's some good advice, and definitely, uh, I think nowadays, as volume is up, they don't have any other choice but to keep washing the cars, so it's uh, it's definitely an exciting time in our industry. Uh, congratulations on the award, Brian. It's a very uh, prestigious award, and Valerie, congratulations as well to you and the, and the family. This is a great honor, so uh, we thank you for taking the time here to, to meet with us and to, to talk with us for this interview for carwash.com. And most of all, we hope uh, we could see you soon at, uh, at a car wash show. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate it. I love you, Rich. <laughs> oh, well, we love you too at PCND. You're, you're a good friend to us for, for many I'll, years. Go ahead. I'll see you soon. <laughs> see you soon.